haven't seen you, man. How, how's your summer been? Uh, been good. Working hard. Uh, Coach Allen's been talking a lot about shooting, not just with you, but with everyone on the team. How do you feel like you guys have made strides in that area over the offseason? Well, um, since I've been here, this has been the best year so so far. Like, the guys getting in the gym on their own, working, and getting up extra shots, and everybody has been pretty consistent. And you can see it in our shooting percentages. As practice continue to go on, everybody's shooting good percentages from three inch from the floor, and the hard work is paying off. We just want to keep going in that direction. What other, what other areas of your game specifically do you feel like you've improved? Um, I feel like I'm enjoying like handling the ball, like being a better true point guard. Like I'm trying to pick up my turnover to assist ratio. You know, that's one of my major points I've been working on this summer besides shooting. Like, I'm trying to go three to one instead of being two to one, one to one. That's my biggest thing. If I could take care of the ball, we get good possessions. We won't have so many empty possessions. Q just called you a, a true point guard. Do you, do you feel like a true point guard going yeah. into the season? Yes, sir. This, this is my best. I feel like this will be my best year because I'm surrounded by guys who are working so hard and those guys knocking down shots. And I'm able to get to spots on the floor because defenders will have to help. And if they don't help, I got good shooters in Eric, Tyson, Q, Nick, and those guys. And they're more than capable of knocking down shots. So i just been working on handling the ball, being a better point guard, and being a better player. A year ago, this team may have been a little bit too overly reliant on the three-pointer. Do you think this is going to be a year where if I can get the ball more inside or if guys like you and Q can create off the dribble and get to the rim more consistently? Yeah, last year we used to come out some games and probably shoot our first 11 shots from three and probably made one. And that's one of the big emphasis coach made, like don't rely on the three so much, even though we're shooting good right now. Run the offense, move the ball, get the ball moving side to side and work with each other, and it'll help us. And we've just been – Emphasizing that a lot. Don't just settle, but we've been knocking it down, so I'm ready. It seemed like last year that when you were playing well, the team was playing well, and you know when you weren't, the team didn't play well. Did you kind of realize how important you were, you know, for the team? That it seems like you kind of drive the engine a little bit. Yeah, I had to get better at that. Stop being a distraction. Just be a leader. You know, I'm the point guard of the team, so I had to take some of that responsibility. And like coaches always tell me. Be take credibility, like don't be so, don't be whining and stuff. When he coached me hard, and just take the coaching and just lead the team because you're the engine, you're the point guard, and you're the second me on the floor. So I've just been working on that and just working hard and just trying to lead this team. Was there any like specific moment that you realized that, or was it just kind of a slow process of realizing you need to be more consistent? No, I I pretty much know it, but it, you know it's just. It's hard for me, you know, this is like my third year playing point guard, like my whole life. I was used to being a scorer, used to being aggressive, and wasn't used to making as many plays for others. And now coaches have made that, like made me notice that I'm the guy who wanted to make plays for others, set guys up, and get those guys these shots. And when I bought into that, everything started going well. So for being a leader standpoint, tell us about the, the freshmen and what kind of role you think they're going to play this year. The freshmen are going to be big, and um, those guys ready, all those came in. All those guys came in focused. They've been in the gym every day and they're working hard. And you can see it's helping those guys. Because when I came here, I wasn't as focused as them. And I wasn't as ready as they are now. And I'm pretty excited to see what they got for the season. You talked about like your relationship with Coach Allen and you know how he wanted you to be a point guard. You were a scorer. How has that relationship grown over the years? What, what did you have to learn about him? What did he learn about you? Um, you know, I was a little um, hot, hot head at first, you know. I wasn't used to hard coaching at first. And like he he set me down. We had a lot of meetings to talk to him, like, come on, this is what you you wanna be a pro, you wanna be a point guard, you wanna accept the coach, the hard coach, you gotta be able to be the second me out there. And once I figured that out, everything started working for me. And I started the game started slowing down, the game started getting easier because I was just playing the right basketball instead of trying to be a score for a point guard. You mentioned the NBA there. Who's an NBA player you might try to model your game after? Um, you know, I like Chris Paul, Damon Lillard. But I really like Chris Paul. You know, he runs his team. He take what you give him. You know, one of the best point guards in the league for a couple of years now. You mentioned that you know you were more consistent down the stretch last year. Was there a moment or something that happened or that clicked for you last year? Yeah, um, beginning of the year, you know, I got suspended for you know getting in trouble with coach, and I was watching the team. Like when I got back, you know, we would, we would struggle at times because we didn't have a true point guard out there. And it really, I really felt like at the time it was my fault, you know. So I wanted to pick the team up and do whatever I got to do to make those guys play harder and make myself play better. And, you know, 
it worked for us. The coach sent me down to him, like, the ball's going to be in your hand. You're going to have, have to make plays. And I was ready to do it because I wanted to see the team win. I got a question. Was there anybody other than you and Coach Holland involved in you becoming more mature? Was there somebody in your your life, a role model that you talked to and they told you, you yeah, got to um, do this, Lamar? Um, my mother, Coach Bird, and my coach, Coach Larry, like those guys from high school, my mom always called me like, I'm all like, you're, you're overthinking out there. You're not playing your game. You're stressing too much. And you're really not just being yourself out there. And I talk to her every day, and she just let me know, like, just hanging there. Don't overthink about it. Like, just play basketball. When I started doing that, things started working out for me. Wasn't she doing that in the other the other season, too? I mean, what caused you to finally say, you're right, Mom, I, I got to do that? Yeah, having a hard time listening, thinking Mom didn't know what she was talking about. But, you know, she really helped me, calling me everything, just calmed me down. And I just called after my tough games. She just tell me, you know, you ain't shooting the ball how you normally do because you're not standing to it. Was there a teammate here that you're close to that said, she's right, you've got to do this tomorrow. It's time you do this. Yeah, all those guys. You know, all those guys used to grab me. When they used to see me down after the game, Q, Abdul, Tyson, be like, come on, bro, stick in there. You're good. You're fine. Don't let those games dictate who you are because you know who you are. Who are you? That's my last question. The point guard, the team, the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we'll do the TV station.